So the big political row this week is, of course, Suella Braverman. Never have I seen the press pack turn on a cabinet minister quite like this. Everybody, yes, it's the Robert Pestons, the BBC, who keep saying there are more questions that need to be answered. She's broken the rules. Yes, policy documents she sent to former ministers ready to get their sort of advice. That apparently is unacceptable, as if every cabinet minister doesn't do it. But let me tell you what Samantha Braverman has really done wrong. Let me tell you what her great sin is. Say it very quietly. Yes, she wants to leave the ECHR. She doesn't want judges to be able to stop deportations of those that shouldn't be here. That is her real sin. And the people that want her out are basically remainers, rejoiners. That is what this is all about. And it isn't just in the media, it's coming from some inside her own party as well. Just picture the scene, quite extraordinary. We've got Conservative and Labour MPs screaming for more hotels to be booked. Why are we not booking more hotels? There's nearly 300 hotels filled up all around the country. I'll bet there's one near you. And the fact that over 12,000 of those that have come are young Albanian men responding to TikTok videos, inviting them to come and join criminal gangs, seems to have completely passed Parliament by. So what did Braverman do in response? Well, she kept her head down for a bit, maybe for too long, but she came into the House of Commons yesterday and she said it loudly and clearly, illegal immigration is out of control. Well, I agree with that completely. Our system is broken. I agree with that completely. And she said, this is an invasion. Now that's a word that I've used, I first used here two years ago. I was roundly condemned for it. So it's actually nice to see the Home Secretary using that word, because what else can you call over 80,000 young men that have come into our country over the course of the last few years. Far bigger number than the fighting size of the British Army. And that's a fact. So we've got a big row about Manston. I've got an idea. Manston, you may not know this, was an RAF base. It's got the longest runway in the country. We should be using Manston, not just to house people, but to fly them back to Albania. They have no right to be here whatsoever. Well done, Suella Braverman, for, for standing up in the way that she has. Her surname is very appropriate. I'll tell you this. I cannot think of an issue in my lifetime where politicians and the media are more out of touch with the great British public. I hope you agree with me.